Today, I'm going to can some apple juice. First of all, I juice my apples and bring the juice to a boil. While I'm doing that, I have my jars over here in boiling water. I'm going to transfer the apple juice to the jars, put the jars in the water bath with the lids on, and I'm going to boil the jars with the hot juice in them for 10 minutes. And that's all there is to it. This is what I'm canning today. These are red apples from my apple tree. And I'm juicing the apples and then I'm canning the juice. I have the lids in hot water too. Everything has to be sterilized when you're canning. I want one half inch of headspace above the juice. This rack holds the jar in the water bath. I'm just canning pure apple juice today. I haven't added anything to the juice, no sugar, no pectin. If I was going to make apple jelly, I would add the pectin to this juice according to the directions on the box. Over here I've got the uh, fire going to boil this. The water is already hot because this is the water that I use to sterilize my jars. But now what I'm going to do is turn the heat on again, bring it back up to a boil, 
and boil the jars and the apple juice together for 10 minutes. My water bath holds six one quart jars, so I can only can six at a time. So what I'll do is I'll bring this hot water up to a boil again, start timing, and in 10 minutes, they'll be ready to take out and uh, allow them, and I'll allow them to cool down. So what I did was I sterilized the jars in this boiling water first, and when I was sterilizing the jars, I was sterilizing the juice as well in a separate container. I just brought the juice to a boil. Then I added the hot juice to the hot jars and put on the lids. And the lids I also sterilized. Everything has been sterilized. And now we will sterilize everything together by boiling this for 10 minutes. Once it uh, starts bubbling, starts boiling, I'll start timing and in 10 minutes these will be canned. Okay, that's been boiling for 10 minutes. Turn the heat off and carefully take the jars out. You can remove the jars one at a time. It's probably best. I'm going to take them all out at once. I'm going to make a total of 12 jars, so I'll have a whole case of one quart apple juice. So I'm going to go ahead and sterilize in the hot water here. I'll go ahead and sterilize the other six jars. Now I'm going to set the jars aside to cool. All right, these jars have the pop-up lids. Right now they're hot, but when they cool down and uh, the pressure inside the jar uh, drops, these will pop down. These already have popped down. You can hear that. This one hasn't popped down. As it cools down, this will pop down and it won't do that anymore. And that way you know that your canning was successful. And if you have any cans, once it cools down completely, if you have any cans that do that, then you know that it didn't can properly. they'll all pop down and stay down and then that way you know that your canning was successful and any that don't stay down, any that pop like that, once it cools down completely, any that pop like that do not can properly and for those you either have to use them right now, put them in the refrigerator and use them right now or else you have to run them through the water bath again until it does pop down. Now these are really hot, so they're not popped down yet, but when it cools down, these will pop down and stay down. Okay, my jars have all cooled down now, so I can check the lids, make sure they're all down. Okay, there's one, this one right here did not can properly. They should, uh, this button should 
go down there should be a vacuum inside the can which causes this button to go down and stay down and when this occurs it means it wasn't uh, canned properly so I'll have to take this can here and either run it through the water bath again or just go ahead and put it in the refrigerator to use it now and I don't want to have to heat up my water again so I'm just going to go ahead and add this put this in the refrigerator and use it now now what we'll do is take off the bands these are lids these are bands you use the lids one time you can use the bands over and over this is a wide mouth jar this is a regular see the difference somehow I got one wide mouth jar in my batch here so what we want to do is take off all the bands if you leave the bands on what will happen is it'll they'll start rusting in there and uh, they're not necessary at this point you can put them back on there when you get ready to open the jar to use it and we'll put the jars in the box these jars are clear and uh, light will cause the deterioration of food over time so you want to protect them from the light and you also want to protect them from breakage. If we have an earthquake or something, we don't want all of our jars of uh, stored food to break. So the best way to store it is to put the jars back in the boxes that the jars came in. And this will protect them from the partitions in here and the cardboard will protect them from breakage. And we'll put this away for storage. And of course you always want to label your jars. I find the easiest thing to do is to just use a permanent marker and write it right on the lid, unsweetened apple juice. In this video I demonstrated how to can using a boiling water bath which is done in a regular pot like this. Boiling water bath canning works for high acid foods such as fruits, also tomatoes, and pickled foods or foods in vinegar. For anything else, which includes all meats and vegetables other than tomatoes, you need to can in a pressure canner. Uh, foods like meats, fish, beans, any kind of vegetables that are more alkaline, that are not acid, have to be canned in a temperature of 240 degrees Fahrenheit, which is only obtainable under 15 pounds of pressure. In a boiling water bath, I don't care how high you turn the heat, and I don't care how long you boil it, the temperature will never exceed the boiling point of water or 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 Celsius. In order to get the temperature up to 240 degrees Fahrenheit, it is absolutely essential to use a pressure canner and can the food under 15 pounds of pressure. This is Survival Doc reminding you be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced. The tribulation is